Hi designers, welcome to SolidWorks Central. In today's tutorial, we're going to create a realistic tri-corner trophy step by step. Along the way, you'll learn how to use essential SolidWorks tools like corner rectangle, offset entities, extruded boss base, move copy bodies, revolved boss base, combine, fillet, chamfer, and appearances. This exercise is perfect if you want to improve your 3D modeling skills and build professional looking designs. So let's jump right in and start modeling. First, open a sketch on the front plane. Next, select the corner rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. Select all edges and apply Make Equal to turn them equal. Add a coincident relation between the top edge and the origin. Now, select these two edges and convert them to construction geometry. Activate the Smart Dimension tool. Give one edge a dimension of 50 millimeters. Set the distance between this edge and the origin to 10 millimeters. Activate the Offset Entities command. Select the edge. Leave the offset distance at 10 millimeters. Keep Add Dimensions active. Make sure Select Chain is active. Enable cap ends and close them with lines. Next, open the Extruded Boss Base command. Set the end condition to blind. Leave the depth at 10 millimeters. Set the direction to reverse. Then click OK to complete the command. Show the Direct Editing tab in the Command Manager. Then open the Move Copy Bodies command. Select the body, keep copy active. For the rotation, select the origin point since we will rotate the copies around it. Set the Y rotation angle to 90 degrees. Change the Z rotation angle to 90 degrees. Make the number of copies 2. Click OK to finish the command. Drag the rollback bar to the top to temporarily deactivate the copied bodies. Open a sketch on this face and set the view to normal 2. Grab the corner rectangle tool. Select the center line. This center line will serve as the axis of revolution for the revolve feature. Activate the Smart Dimension tool. Set the distance between the origin and the center line to 30 millimeters. This defines the radius. Activate the Revolve Boss Base command. Set the revolution angle to 90 degrees. Click OK to finish the command. Drag the rollback bar down to reactivate the copied bodies. Now we're left with three solid bodies. Let's combine them into a single body. Go to Direct Editing and open the Combine command. Select all bodies and confirm with OK. Now the bodies are combined, and we have a single solid body. Hide the visible edge lines. Go to Options. In the Display Settings, set Tangent Edge Display to Removed.
Open the Move Copy Bodies command again. This time, turn off Copy. We will only rotate the body. Switch the view to front. Set the Z-axis rotation angle to minus 45 degrees or enter 315 degrees. Press the F key to fit the model to the screen and use the arrow keys to rotate it a little. Activate the fillet command Keep the radius at 10 mm. For the profile, select Curvature Continuous instead of Circular. Note, Circular Fillet creates a constant arc, while Curvature Continuous provides a smoother transition that matches surface curvature. Apply the fillet step by step to the edges we want. Activate the filler command again. This time, set the radius to 20 mm and apply it to the edges we want. Now, let's start creating the base of our trophy. Open a sketch on the top plane. Look normal to the top plane. From the display style, select hidden lines visible. Select the circle tool. Draw a circle at the center. Activate smart dimension and set the diameter to 2.5 millimeters. Activate the Extruded Boss Base command. Switch the view to Isometric. In the From option, select Offset. Reverse the offset direction. Set the offset distance to 80 mm downward. Make the depth 20 mm. Click OK to complete the command. Switch the display style back to shaded with edges. Open a sketch on this face. Select the circle tool. Activate smart dimension and set the diameter to 50 millimeters. Now, use extruded boss base to give depth to the base. Set the depth to five millimeters. Activate the chamfer command. Keep the angle type set to angle distance. Set the distance to one millimeter. Now, apply it to the edges one by one.
We applied chamfer to all 12 edges. Go to one of the chamfered edges. Right click on it. From appearances, select the chamfer feature. Assign a gold appearance. You can choose any appearance you like. Right click on this face. Click Select Tangency. This quickly selects all tangent faces. Right click again on the selected face, then go to Appearances and choose Face. Assign a steel appearance from the Metal Library. Of course, you can choose any appearance you like. Let's also assign a colour. Go to the Advanced Options, then open the Illumination tab. Adjust some of the illumination values. Feel free to play around with these values and see how the changes affect the model. Confirm with OK to finish. From Appearances, apply the steel appearance to the remaining parts as well. Activate the Fillet command again. Keep the radius at 20 millimeters and apply it to the edge we choose. Now, set the radius to 2 millimeters. Finally, set the radius to 1mm, apply it to the required edges, and finish the model. As a final touch, let's change the scene appearance, adjust the settings, and the model is complete. And that's how we've completed our Tri-Corner Trophy model in SOLIDWORKS. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to SOLIDWORKS Central for more tutorials. For new video ideas or any questions, feel free to drop a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.